Hello, I'm Sil Kwasi and I'm Hall Middle School Student Council President and welcome to our first ever YouTube video. On this channel, we highlight Student Council's activities, fundraisers, and such. More importantly, we're using this channel to touch base on a larger issue, which is our civics project. Many here at Hall say that they feel disconnected from the community that we have. Whether it's students, parents, or even faculty members, we want to include everyone through the videos that we make on this channel. As you could probably tell, we're featuring Korean and Vietnamese culture today, two prevalent ethnicities found within our community. Today, members of the executive board are gonna show you how to make foods they often eat at home. First, Chelsea and Maddie are gonna show you how to make Vietnamese spring rolls, and Hannah, Alice, and Rachel will show you how to make Korean kimchi fried rice. Take it away. Hi, my name is Chelsea Doe, and I'm Student Council Vice President of Service. Hi, my name is Maddie Nguyen, and I'm Student Council Communications Officer. Today, we're going to be making Goi Kwon, also known as spring rolls. These handheld rice paper wraps are filled with vermicelli noodles and other meats and vegetables. Easy to make and customizable, Goi Kwon is a common dish enjoyed by many Vietnamese families. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so these are the ingredients we'll be using for our spring rolls today. First, we have sliced pork belly, shrimp, vermicelli noodles, lettuce, cucumber, and mint. And we have the rice paper over here. For the sauce, we'll be using hoisin sauce, peanuts, and sugar. Okay, so now that you have your rice paper soaked, uh, we're going to start assembling. You can get the ingredients in whatever order you want. So I'm going to start with lettuce, the noodles, um, So once you get to the middle, you want to fold in the sides and keep rolling it and the end should look like this. To make the sauce, you first want to take hoisin sauce. Again, it's just all to your taste. So it however you like. Just mix that up. And this is the finished product. I'm not gonna have the audio here, so. <laughs> Rachel. I'm secretary for the student council. My name is Alice and I'm the spirit coordinator for student council. My name is Hannah Yim and I'm student relations officer. So today we're making kimchi bokdeumbap, also called kimchi fried rice, and a lot of Koreans eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's made from the popular side dish called kimchi. So I'm gonna talk about the different ingredients that go into this dish. First we have kimchi, which is a very common traditional side dish. We have eggs here and olive oil. And we also have green onions. And over here we have our seasoners, sesame seed, black pepper, and salt. So next we will be actually starting to cook. So um, I put some avocado oil into the pan and now we're just gonna heat it up. And then after, we're gonna put our green onions in there to make pagenum, which is also called green onion oil, just to make the food look better. So I'm just gonna add the kimchi and we're just gonna fry it first before we add in anything else. So now Rachel is going to take it over and put the rice in. And then just mix it in. Kimchi is already seasoned, so she only needs to cut only a little bit of seasoning. She's gonna burn down the house. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's okay. We're gonna make enough for three people, so there's three eggs. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we need to add some sesame seeds. Yes, Alex. <laughs> okay, so, so thank you for watching the Korean tea make kimchi fried rice. Chamoke <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, I'll clean it. How does it taste? Mm. This blood, but my hands are hot. <laughs> We hope that you got to learn and enjoy this video and got to feel more connected if these were your cultures. Thank you for watching. Bye.